Hey everyone, um, so welcome to my live stream. Uh, today we're going to talk about Yesnipet. Uh, and Yesnipet is a snippet system for Emacs. And uh, as a, a snippet system, it avoids you, it helps you doing repetitive and uh, boilerplate um, actions and text within programming languages and text in general. <coughs> And uh, so it, it will speed you up quite a bit uh, if you decide to use it. And we'll just go through um, how to set it up, how to install your snippet, and what you need to do to actually have snippets and benefit from them and code your own um, today. So to begin with, your snippet is not bundled as part of Emacs. It's uh, a third party plugin. And if you want to have, um, if you want to have some documentation on it, it's available uh, if you look at the YesNipet repository on GitHub, uh, which is this one. Uh, you will find uh, the link to their documentation down here. Uh, here. And then you can find how to organize your snippets, uh, how to write some, uh, how to work the menu, etc. Everything's in their documentation. So I'd recommend that you take a look. If you're interested in having more details, I'll just cover some basics in this video. So uh, don't just do what I say. Also have a look at uh, their documentation. All right. So let's start with, with the beginning. How do you install it? Um, so you can either going to close this. You can either use package.el uh, which is bundled with Emacs these days and so if you go list packages uh, you will find it down there. Yes, but over here. Uh, so you can install it through here. Um, since I don't use package.el and instead use trade.el I do it I do things differently. <coughs> So I've got I've set up a package.el file uh, in which I put all my package definitions for straight. Uh, I've made a video on how to split configuration and on this computer I don't have a fully split configuration, but I do for packages. Uh, and you can see how that works down here. Sorry, up here. <laughs> this is the first thing I do is call uh, load the package.el file and um, that's populated over there and so it will install all of those packages. So what I'm going to do is just add a straight use package for YesNipet and save it and then just run it, evaluate it with Control X, Control E. And uh, that's going to install YesNipet. I've already installed it in the past so it's already checked out, that's why it was instant. Okay, I'm going to close this and then, so now it's installed, but that's not enough. <laughs> um, yes, snippet is, uh, well, the, the functions are available, so if I do Alt X, yes, uh, you can see that the minor mode, the global mode are all there. Okay, so we need to create, we'll start by creating some snippets and see how that works. And then we'll hook it up to try and make it work, actually expand the snippets for us. So first of all, we need to tell it where to find snippets in our system. Uh, so that would be a... That would be a um, configuration of the directory. Uh, is the stream working well? I'm seeing it hanging on my secondary computer. Hold on. Okay, no, it's fine. Sorry about that. Still getting to grips with uh, all the streaming, streaming things. All right. Uh, so, what you need to do is tell your snippet where to find your snippets, uh, and I'm going to do this here. I don't know why I'm moving vertical. I'm going to do it below. Um, and I think it's a variable. It's called. So if I do describe variable, yes. Uh, let's just do deers. Yeah, yes, snippet deers. Yeah. 
So as it says in the description, there's a top level snippet directories and it's directories, it takes multiple ones, but we'll have only one. So let's go ahead and define it. I'll set Q, uh, yes. Yeah, snippet deal, snippet deals, and we'll set it to a list with um, home the max dot d. Uh, oops, and uh, snippets. Okay, I'll have only one. I'll evaluate this, and then we'll go ahead and create the actual snippets directory. So I'm going to open up the imax.d, I'll create a snippets folder. And then the structure is that uh, snippets are within um, a folder that's the name of their mood. So if I want to create a, a snippet for uh, C, I would create a folder called C, then put uh, my snippets within. So we'll create a snippet for uh, Emacs Lisp. So let's try that. So I'll create a, a directory called Emacs Lisp. Emacs Lisp, and then I'll create a file for setq. Okay. And so the other thing is that files have to be named in this have to be have the same name as the key of the command to of the snippet to expand. So this one will be called setq. Now in the definitions, I'm going to start my directive with a hash and then say key. And there will be set q. And then I'm going to do a hash and dash dash to say that I finished my um, preamble. All right, and so the definition for set q will be set q. And then we want to let the user type uh, whatever they want for name. So we'll, say we'll put a placeholder with dollar one, and then we'll want them to type whatever we whatever they want as the uh, value of the variable. And so we'll want we'll want that to be where the point ends, at once the uh, user has finished typing the placeholders. So we'll call that double dollar zero, and then close the parent. Okay, let's save that. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll type set Q over here, and we'll enable the gas minor mode. Right. So now if I invoke gas expand, oh, it didn't work. The reason is because I need to reload all of them. I think. Some of the yeah, sure. Okay, so let's try expanding it again, and it didn't work. Okay, why didn't it work? I think it's because of the way I named that uh, Emacs Lisp. Lisp. Would that work? Reload. Pull. And it expand. Nope. Ah, um, Max Lisp. So this is the main difficulty I found with uh, YesNippet is to find the actual name of the mood. Because it's written here. But like, it's not gonna doesn't take the actual name that's printed here. It, it uses a different name than that, maybe. Emacs list mode. Okay, let's try that. Emacs list mode. Would that work? Yes, reload. Okay. Yes, expand. Yes, that worked. Okay. So it's the actual name of the function mode. Um, if uh, if anyone wants to try, um, not not what's printed here as the major mode, 
but the actual function that invokes the mode is what uh, he has snippets is. So that's what you need to input. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put a name, say, um, foo. And then if I tab, I will move to the final point position, which was denoted as zero here. And we'll name that, we'll put something, one, two, three. Okay, I'll do it again, maybe slower. So if I type set Q and then invoke yeah, yes expand, it will put the shell of the snippet and then place the point on the first placeholder, dollar one, for me to input anything I like. So, la. And then when I tab, hit tab, it will move me to the next placeholder. If there's no more placeholders to jump to, it will place the point on the um, on the dollar zero placeholder and end the snippet interaction. And maybe if we found a construct with more placeholders, that would be a bit more obvious. So let's see what I can find. Uh, oop, stay here. Uh, let's do if. Okay, if. So I'm going to start my preamble again. So key will be if. And let's end it here. And we'll do if. And we'll have a condition. So it would be dollar one. Then we'll have a branch. Uh, yeah, dollar two or an else branch dollar three. Uh, if any of you are specialists of Lisps, Lisp, you'll have to excuse me because I don't use it that often. Okay, I think that'll do. And then uh, we'll want it to place the point below. So we'll see how that works. I haven't tried that actually. I don't know where the point will end. So let's do a yes reload all. Yes, that's fine. And we'll do a if, yes, expand. Okay, so let's do if, um, egg, um, if t. <laughs> then I want to do print one, two, three. Otherwise, print three, two, one. Okay, and it places me at the end of the snippet when I finally, because there's no dollar zero in that snippet, which I should probably reopen. All right, so that worked. Um, okay, so next, let's see how we can make the snippet expansion a little nicer because that would be good. And also how we can have Yaz uh, enabled um, automatically instead of invoking the minor mode by hand. So I'm going to delete that for now. And what we are going to do is we're going to define a hotkey for expand whenever the uh, minor mode is enabled. So we'll do that with define key. So we'll define key, Yaz minor mode map. And that would be KVD. So I, I like to use um, MetaJ or AltJ uh, because I find it convenient. But feel free to define it, define whatever you like. And that would be yes, expand. Okay. Right, so let's evaluate that. And we are going to do if, alt J, and it works. All right. And now let's uh, auto load the yes minor mode where when we want, um, or we, we have two ways of doing it. Let's do it the easy way. So yes provides yes, um, yes global, nice yes global mode. Let's take a look at it. Um, HF, uh, yes, global mode. Yeah, so 
toggle just minor mode in all buffers. So this is the nuclear option. <laughs> You've got uh, maybe you're working only with one programming language or, or one uh, document type, and you want yes, you want yes snippet enabled everywhere. So this is brilliant. Uh, that will give you exactly what you want. So if we enabled it here, it would enable yes, yes minor mode everywhere. And I, th I think that's a bit heavy-handed for me. I don't use yes snippet in everything. Um, so instead, I'm going to hook it up to a particular mode. And for me, um, what I find the most, most boilerplate is org mode, actually. So we're going to do that here. So I'm going to add a hook to uh, org mode. Org mode hook. And what I'm going to do is just um, uh, just turn on the yes minor mode. So the cook yes minor mode. Oops, wrong button. Uh, let's double check yes minor mode. Yeah, I could even go yes minor mode on. But anyway, yes minor mode. So now when I open the um, when I open a dog mode file, uh, it should automatically enable the yes snippet. So let's have a look at that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's open the temporary file. Test the org. Oh, did I evaluate it? Probably not. All right, and uh, I have yes loaded. You can see it here in the mode. Uh, what's that called? Mode list, I guess. Okay, so that's good. Um, now there's a problem with this, which is that at login, this doesn't work. The yes minor mode map is not is not found. Um, I can show so if, you have, if I save that file properly I'm going to open a new Emacs and yeah it's not happy oh yes my normal map does not exist ouch okay so one way I found around it and there's probably a better way but that works is to actually uh, add a hook to the yes my normal which will define the key uh, on demand so what I'll do is just uh, I'm going just Okay, I'll do that here. So, add hook. I prefer putting it above the org mode hook. Just makes more makes more sense in my hand, in my head. But I think you can put it anywhere. It doesn't matter since it all loads afterwards after this file is read anyway. That's my org mode hook, uh, and I'm going to put a lambda. And the lambda is basically that. Okay. So that'll work. Um, basically, uh, when uh, when, yes, when the yes minor mode is loaded, it will define the key. Uh, I think that's a bit meh. I don't like that style. So I prefer to define uh, this as a separate function instead of the lambda. So we'll do define uh, my Yes, uh, not enable. Um, define yes keys and takes nothing. And this is the body. All right, which allows me to just put it in here. And that's I find that easier to read. Okay, I'll evaluate this. Evaluate that. And if I try opening Emacs again, I should not get an error. And if I try opening that silly, um, that silly org file, it does load yes, um, and we don't have any. Let's try uh, an EL file, um, test EL. Okay, I didn't define it for it. I'm going to add another one for Emacs Lisp. Emacs Lisp mode hook. There. 
Okay, so let's try opening test.el. Yes, snippet is loaded down here, and let's see if the uh, key shortcut actually was was defined as well. So I'm going to just do if and old j, uh, and that didn't work. Ah, yes, I forgot this. Yeah, we need to make Yaz reload the snippets every time we start Emacs, naturally. Yaz reload. Okay, so it's almost there. Let's not save that file and exit. Uh, let's try again. Oops. And it's not happy again. Uh, Alright, program. I don't know if there's a more elegant way to do this. Um, Anyway, this will work. So um, every time it uh, every time it uh, loads the yes my down mode, it will reload the snippet. Which if I test here, so HTMP test yell prepare just in time loading of snippets. Da da da. Okay. So if I do set queue and it expands. Good. All right, so next up, um, now that we've got our, our snippets working and, and working easily, let's try to flesh them out a little. And I think I will switch over to, I will switch over to using uh, something silly like XML um, because XML is quite, a very ver very verby and ver um, format, and so it makes great use of um, the placeholder features of yes snippet. So let's let's try that. So we'll put XML mode, and we'll create tag. Yeah, make directory. Doc doc, and so we're going to start with hash. So this will be a, a generic snippet to create a tag. And I know there's ways to do it in Emacs already, but that's just to illustrate. So key will be tag. And let's stop here. And we're going to have it be $1. And then we'll put, we'll put the, we'll place the point back in the middle of the tag. And then we'll close the tag down there. And we'll just put $1 as well. And so this is called a mirror placeholder. So it's going to, uh, when we're prompted for $1, the point will jump back here. And that's going to actually fill both at the same time. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to add one for XML mode. Let's double check the name, yeah, XML mode. XML mode hook, yes, minor mode, okay. We'll reload the tags. Yeah, yeah, reload it. And it's closed it, which is kind of annoying. Okay. So let's open up a, a fantasy file. Test the XML. All right, it did not load the snippets because it's not the same mode. Is it? Hmm. Maybe I didn't evaluate this. Nope, it doesn't load the snippet. Okay, fine. Tag. Oh. 
Yes. That's annoying. Maybe HTML then. But the same. So we'll do tag and just yes, expand. Oh, I didn't reload the e tags. Okay. Right, that worked. So that's expanded it. And now it's asking me for the first placeholder, uh, which is going to be, I don't know. Uh, I've kind of forgotten this article. And then it puts our point in the center. So that's a, that's a cool way to repeat things up. Now let's say we were working on on some super old HTML uh, back in the day. <laughs> All the tags were written in uppercase. Uh, and so we'll, we'll try to simulate that. And yeah, Snippet provides functionality for you to basically uh, transform whatever is put into placeholders. And we'll do we'll do just that. So um, we'll add little curlies around uh, around the lower one. Then we'll use that funky notation to basically tell it to execute um, some Lisp code um, onto the placeholder. And so we'll do upcase, which is a standard Emacs function, by the way. So Control F upcase. That's it, upcase object, we'll convert it to uppercase. And then we'll use yes text here, which represents the text that's been put into the placeholder. Okay, let's save that. And we'll reload all. Yes, and it's gonna close it again. Okay. All right, let's go back to tag, expand it. That's it, and I'm typing in lowercase now. So, um, article or p or whatever, HTML. Okay, let's delete that. And I can change that to capitalize, for example. Capitalize, which is, um, well, it just puts a cap on the first letter of the word and the rest is lowercase. So it'll be a bit different. Let's save that and reload it. Yes, and it's gonna close it. Uh, let's try again, tag, uh, title, that's it. So I typed everything in lowercase. If I type everything in uppercase, it also does the conversion. So that's handy. All right. So that's a, a cool way to do transformations. Uh, as far as I know, this supports basically, uh, this evaluates, this part of the uh, placeholder evaluates whatever list text you, list code you put in there. So you could put something pretty involved if you wanted to. And then, um, so the last part we'll see is uh, choices. So let's say, let's, let's, Create a new tag and we'll call it M for emphasis. Uh, hash. Okay, key M. And we'll stop here. And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll provide a, a choice of different emphasis tags to choose from. So we'll have the same, we'll have an inline tag this time, why not? So we'll have dollar one, dollar uh, zero. One. Oops. Okay, and then for dollar one, we want to give a choice. So we'll do tuck tuck. Oops. Like this. 
and we'll use the yes choose value function choose value which basically provides a list of possibilities okay so we'll have uh, m we'll have b i and that will do for now oops <laughs> i didn't call the yes choose value and this is a list so we'll add that and just close the parent here cool so it says it's been loaded so let's try that title this is a m yeah, it works so now it proposes me to choose uh, and if you have a completion system like vertigo which uh, plugs into the default um, emacs stuff then you'll have you, you'll be able to choose them right there as a as a completion in the completion list so i'll choose i and what did it put me oh i was still on the placeholder okay let's try let's give it another go up Choose I, tab, and then here we go. So that worked out. Um, all right, so let's go back and take a look at the setup that we had to do. To the init. So this is basically how that worked out. Um, so we had to install yes snippet, then declare a directory where the snippets are, create a few snippets, and then uh, define, basically had a hook for the yes minor mode, so that we'd register, we'd register a hotkey to expand the snippets and also to reload uh, the existing snippets. And then just hook it up to whatever mo mode hook we want your snippet into. Again, if you don't want to bother with all that, you can simply enable the yes global. Yes global. Oh, I forgot the name. Yes global mode, which uh, will enable yes the across the board and remove you some legwork. But then you might not want your snippet everywhere, so it's up to you. Cool. So I hope you found this video useful and that your snippet helps you out. Um, if you like it, uh, please recommend that video to other people and that way they might benefit from it as well. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.